Hey what's up guys Rajat from VFX World welcome back to my channel this is Silver FX rotoscopic master classes in this video i'll talk about hair roto so without wasting any more further time let's get started So guys, right now we are in Silhouette FX, uh, the latest released version and this video is sponsored by Boris FX. But before moving forward, I just have an announcement because right now we are in Graphy from an academy. So what is Graphy? Let me talk about this a very short. So Graphy is a platform where I will describe, in fact, I will teach you guys all in detailed way, complete rotoscoping masterclasses. Now in YouTube, as you all know, we have very limited times to explain you because if I create a lengthy video, then it will become some boardings and all but in this case i will describe each and every parts in clearly so this is the first fast classes uh, like courses here so if you just open this view course here you can exactly find out silhouette master classes link here that i just posted all the links is in description box below you can go check it out here you can find out the starting class from like 22nd may to 5th june this is the time duration enrollment fees are only 3000 guys so don't miss this chance and it will close very soon because we have only 10 members of limited seeds so if you are really interested then please go through with this all plans like course plans number one number two number three number four and number five these are the five classes right now i added here so just check it out this site and if you have any query let me know about this so just go and enroll so guys right now back again in silver effects so basically i have two most important sessions here so this is a very normal kind of footage where i'll roto this kind of hairs and all and this is another footage where you can find out this amazing like very hectic hair roto where you have to do the rotoscoping on this kind of frames and all so let me start with this area so first of all on hair roto you need to know about where you should start because so first of all taking new layer and i'm just making it a full screen so first of all you have to first make a hard edge or core edge so what is core and what is detail so just take a beast line here and if you make a shape from this kind of like this and just if you make some random shapes here just like this kind of shapes and all this is completely wrong so in hair roto what you have to do just have to make a hard edge so what is hard edge here you can find these lines like this many edges are exactly considered as a like core or hard edge because in this case in there is no gaps between this so this is completely up to you which kind of things you really consider as a hard edge or like core and the rest of the like these other like small details this will be made by open poly and these are like big poly so we have to maintain all these things here so just starting with the hard edge i'm just showing you a very less part here so if i'll show you on this edge area so just make a shape for this area something like that so this is a very big chunk i'm making here because the footage is not less very less movement so i'm just make a big chunk and now this big chunk as considered as in core okay so while i'm taking this as a core i'm just telling you just make a shape randomly so i'm just making a shape here so this area is also considered as in like core here so this core areas are done so when you press shift a you can find out this is your alpha so just press f1 and invert this and turn on motion blur and go back here just like this so now you can find out this is your alpha just make it 50 here and after that we have to make more cores here so this area is also will be in core so just I'm making a shape just like this. So first of all, if you just know about that the cores are not very smooth enough, so just make some very bit, some randomness that I did here on this area. And after that, just make a shape. That's it. This is very easy, very easy. So, but you have to make sure about your shapes and all. So this is completely filled up with this. Okay, now the big edges. Okay, so this other like consider as in big details and this will be your small details. So if you make this one, so just starting with this from here, like this and just become something sorry this will not go here this should go something here that's it and make a shape and yeah that's it done and uh, now what you have to do you just have to fill up with all like open poly so firstly you have to adjust all your this big details then you have to go to your small details and all so this areas are right now a little bit okay yeah done so this area is completely looks fine and yeah that's it now for the open poly you have to take a new layer because obviously we did all the details on the separate layer and press b here so now to make open poly just start drawing it here just like this and just for release press escape button so now this is become a open poly but when you press shift a you can't see the open poly i'll tell you first i just make some shapes here 
so i'm just making some open random shapes to match with this input and then it will become something like this nice pretty amazing just make a shape that should look like hair don't make it like very randomly and all but it should make look like a hair so just select all this open polys here so these are my open polys so when you go to this area the motion blur area just have to find out on the object panel you can find the stroke width which is right now in default in zero so just make it to by default like one and now when you press see you can exactly find out your open details here okay so in this way you can exactly create your open details this area is also you can create by this open detail so just press the shift like this and press escape and same escape same escape and like this so in this way you can exactly create your all single single polys and all select all this just like this and here I'm just making it to like one. Now I just pasting it one, but you can make it like two or three based on your input. So don't make it very high. Then it will become some pipe kind of thing. So this is it, how it will look like. I don't know, but I think for tutorial purpose, this is enough. So if you really want to make it like a complete roto, so I'm just taking a just normal track here. Just press shift T for the track. And guys, if you still miss this track session, you can go and check it out all links and description box below for the tracking mid modules and all so i'm just making uh, this one here and i'm just making a track backward like this and just making a track forward that's it so on this frame i started the track and select this two first and press apply and select this two and press apply that's it now when you press here see it's completely tracked and well rotoscoped now for motion blur just select everything and turn on your motion blur from here that's it and here also you have to fix this motion blur now shift a and check it out your motion blur is exactly coming up like this so in this way you can create this kind of hair shot which is very static but make sure you have to define with your hard edge and the details now for this session this is actually the main part of this complete hair module so how you can create this kind of weird shapes which is exactly changes on each and every frame so the basic policy is you have to maintain our motion blur basic policy that is the swapping method so each and every frame you have to make a new shape and you have to swap but in this case also you can make your core edge so if i'll create a core for this kind of shots you can exactly find out the core will be something around this areas will be considered as in core so i'm making it very roughly guys so don't quote me on this so i'm just making it just like this so this area is exactly considered as in core okay fine that's it okay so now if you find out with this core which is right now is done just first of all make it invert as i always did just invert it and now you have to make our details i'm just making it in complete one layer so please do it in different different layers so i'm just showing you the how you can create the shapes here so just make a shape something like this that's it and again you have to continue the all the shapes now you can do one thing you just create a shape you just do your animations and then you go forward and do rest of the frame so i'm just not doing and make sure you have to make this uh, edges bit sharp because this should look like a hair okay so in this case i'm just making it like this and something around this one and i think yeah so this kind of shapes are exactly looks like a hair okay i think you style to understand so select all this i'm just turn on the motion blur and from here also just turn on the motion blur now to match the motion blur just go to previous frame and go to the next frame so just move it a bit like this and uh, here also bit up like this and see the motion will start matching it's very simple guys okay so now again you have to make shape something like this and something around this one and yeah and yeah this is good and select t and just move it a bit like this and just turn on your motion blur and see it's coming like this so in this way you can exactly create all the shapes and the next frame select all turn this off and this frame also turn this off only this frame you can exactly see your the shapes and all so guys this is it for today i hope you really understand what i'm trying to show you by using this short and simple hair rotoscoping video and if you really want to know about detailed way then please 
check it out this graphy vfx world new course where you can learn all the things in more depth in more good way from me in the live classes live sessions so see you next video with some more amazing content till then have fun stay home goodbye keep watching vfx world